Good day everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christchurch Radio. My name is Ayode Jiebo, an investment professional. This week we focused on the review of Nigeria's total domestic and foreign debts as at December 2020. The Debt Management Office, DMO, recently published Nigeria's total public debt position as at the end of December 2020. Nigeria's total public debt position, both domestic and foreign, closed at 32.9 trillion naira or 86.4 billion dollars. This implies Nigeria's debt increased by 161 1.1 percent or 20.3 trillion from 12.6 trillion in 2015. In dollar terms, our debt position rose by 32 percent or 21 billion dollars from 65.4 billion dollars in 2015. The report shows that the total debt is made of 38.6 percent external debt and 61.4 percent domestic debt. This is in line with the DMO strategy to keep external debt below 40 percent. A further breakdown shows that the federal government accounts for 81.1% of the total debt, while state and the FCT account for the balance of 18.2%. A breakdown of total domestic debt as of December 2020 reveals that FGM bonds was highest with 74% or 11.8 trillion naira, followed by treasury bills and promissory notes with 17% or 2.7 trillion and 6% or 972 billion naira respectively. A promissory note is a written promise that one party will pay the other party by a specified time. Promissory notes are sovereign instruments, negotiable and have liquid asset status, but non-interest bearing. The FGN issued promissory notes worth 3.4 trillion naira in 2019 for the settlement of inherited local debts and contractual obligations of the government and with maturities between 2019 and 2024. Debt sustainability refers to a country's ability to finance its debt obligation without external help. There are two common metrics used to measure debt sustainability, which are the debt to GDP ratio, which compares the size of the country's debt to its GDP, and debt servicing to revenue ratio, which relates how much a company pays in debt servicing to actual revenue in a given period. Our debt position look LD at 21.3% relative to Nigeria's GDP size of 154.3 trillion naira as of 2020 and within the DMO's new limit of 40%. However, debt servicing to revenue ratio of over 80% in 2020 would suggest that our debt is unsustainable. This means that out of every one naira revenue the federal government earned, 80 kobo was used for debt servicing, which leaves little or nothing for non debt recurrent expenditure, not to mention capital expenditure. This reveals the persistent every reliance on debt to finance outstanding expenditure. The federal government needs to boost its revenues to improve debt affordability. On the external front, multilateral loans from World Bank and African Development Bank groups accounted for 53.8% of external debts followed by commercial loans, eurobond and diaspora bonds, which stood at $11.2 billion or 33.5% of external debt. Bilateral debt was a total of $4.1 billion or 12% of external debt, mainly split between China at $3.3 billion and France with $493 million or 12%. Looking at the debt owned by states, Lagos states ranked the highest with 12.2% or 508 8.8 billion naira of total domestic state and FCT debt and 29.5% or $1.4 billion of total external state and FCT debt. Interesting to note that no state has issued euro bond or diaspora bonds in Nigeria. Finally, borrowing in itself is not a bad economy strategy, but where the funds are channeled is very critical. Nigeria needs to channel more of the debt funding to more productive sectors, capital expenditure, to increase the country's ability to service and pay back its debt. We will recommend more of the Sukuk arrangement or infrastructure bonds where projects are tied directly to fund raised and disbursed based on the project milestones. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For comments and feedback, kindly send to ccradio at rccgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 70 Stay blessed.